have seen some zombie flicks in the last few years, but there are still some I need to try and watch, like Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, the original. And I, but I did see the newest films and the guy who brought us the Dawn of the Dead remake, Zack Snyder, Army of the Dead, which came to theaters a week ago and is now streaming on Netflix. But is this new zombie flick a bloody gore fest of a heist flick? Or is it just something that makes you want, I don't know, go brain dead? Find out right now in this spoiler free review. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the new zombie heist flick, Army of the Dead. Released by Netflix and directed by Zack Snyder with a screenplay he co-wrote with Shay Hen and Joby Harold, based on a story by Mr. Snyder. Now, the film stars Dave Bautista, along with Ella Purnell, Omari Hardwick, Adela Regera, Theo Rossi, Matthias Schwalgofer, Nora Ar Arnzader, I apologize if I mispronounce these, Hiroki Sanada, Tig Notaro, Raul Castillo, Huma Koreshi, and Garrett Dillahunt. Now, so far since it opened in theaters this past weekend, it's done pretty well. Uh, but now, of course, it's playing on Netflix. Anyway, this had been in development hell for for over 12 years, as it was originally to be released by Warner Brothers, who, of course, Snyder had been working on some flicks, including 300 and Watchmen. And then, of course, he would fall with Man of Steel. But anyway, however, after 12 years, Netflix bought the rights to the film in 2019. And, well, they finally got to it and what have you. So anyway... This film's not too bad. It's about... Well... What happened after a U.S. military convoy transport shipment from Area 51 collided with a car on the highway, unleashed a top-secret government weapon by engineered through experimentation with extraterrestrial DNA, and the enhanced zombie quickly kills a number of soldiers while infecting two others. And the zombies head to Las Vegas, infecting most of the population after a failed military intervention the government quarantines the city. Now, casino owner... Bly Tanaka and his associate Martin approach former mercenary Scott Ward about a job to steal $200 million from his casino vault before the military destroys his area with a tacular, tactical, excuse me, tactical nuclear strike. So he agrees and recruits some of his former teammates and all that stuff. Anyway, once they get into Vegas, let me tell you, the fun really begins. The fun actually begins almost like five or six minutes into this. It already starts getting bloody and gory and what have you. Now, I will say that I have a blast watching this. It was probably one of the most coolest, well, zombie flicks I have seen in the last few years. But anyway, I really like the performances we got from the cast. Dave Bautista especially. Everyone else is real good too. Now, also the blood and the gore in this, this was pretty good. This was, again, best zombie flick I would seen in years since, well, maybe um, the original Zombieland. Or maybe it's sequel to, maybe. But anyway, uh, the film's gotten some reasonable response and what have you. I mean, this film is kind of like a mix of uh, some movies. I'd say this is actually Dawn of the Dead meets Ocean's Eleven. Uh, anyway, I gotta say, Zack Snyder's back to his genre roots. 
with a substitutably gory splash, well, as I agree with one of the consensus on Ryan Tomatoes. Yes. After all, he has run some blood and gore thanks to his remake of Dawn of the Dead. And, well, heck, even the blood and gore we saw in 300, which I need to review that sometime. Uh, probably next year I will. Even so, it's pretty good. Like I said, the blood and the gore, the violence. I like the atmosphere of Vegas. I mean, this was probably the coolest I'd seen since the Resident Evil sequels. Or hacking zom and of course Zombie Land and its sequel. Yeah, really something. Anyway. Not only that, but Bautista's character actually gets well well to reconcile with his estranged daughter who works for the World Health Organization. Yeah. Really surprising, but that was one of the negatives some critics had was the attempts at more emotional content. Well, it is kind of a factual downside. My biggest negative, or should I say downside with the film, is the runtime, however. With a runtime of 148 minutes, that's actually almost two and a half hours. I mean, it chapter one and chapter two end up being the first longest Movies to I've seen I've seen well actually it's chapter two ends up being the longest running movie horror flick I had seen. This had, had to go so I'm gonna beat this off with a stick. This could have used just a little bit of trimming of the minutes in my view, so that's my my main downside with the movie. But however, I like the action and even the humor and the diversity of the cast, just like some of the critics have said. Dave Bautista, especially. I also like this here, um, um, zombie like, tra well, Siberian Tiger. Wow. That's really something, too, I gotta say. This is pretty killer. And, well, I'd say give Army of the Dead a try. I think you might enjoy it. You might not like the runtime, though, but you will have a bloody gore fest of a heist. Yeah. In a movie that you should see. So check it out. It should still be playing in theaters. And as it is now currently showing on Netflix. So anyway. Give Army of the Dead a shot. It's a pretty good masterpiece in ways. Maybe not the best masterpiece we got from Zack Snyder. But still. Good though. Anyway. I'm going to be giving Army of the Dead. Four and a half stars. On a scale of one to ten. I'm giving it a 9.5. So, have you seen Army of the Dead yet? If so, please tell me what you thought about in the comment section below. If you liked the video, click the like button below. Subscribe to my channel. Be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of the original Mission Impossible, which is train 25. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this, you may want to check out some of these other zombie flicks I have reviewed. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of the 80s cult fave, Re The Return of the Living Dead. The upper right-hand corner is my review of the original Zombie Land. Or if you want, go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my review of The Guilty Pleasure of a Black Exploitation Flick with Zombies, Sugar Hill. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc. Then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D Sing. See ya.